Right here, engineering, graphics, and design learners. This episode in the How to Hack Your Pet series is going to talk about the research as part of your bigger presentation requirements for the submission of your pet. I'll be looking at the actual pet document, and we'll start on page 12. We'll have a quick look at your pace setter, and we're also going to look at the actual checklist, plus I'll be showing you one or two hacks on how to get the most out of your research that's actually usable and for you to be able to nail and get the best possible marks for your pet. Okay, so where do we start? We're going to start by reading what is specified for the research. As part of the submission, you have to conduct research on the designs and floor plan layouts of what? Small conference centers. Okay, so that is a full floor plan with layouts and designs for small conference centers. That's your first component. The second part of your research is at least three examples of Dutch gable roof designs. And I'll show you how these roofs look and then three examples of covered drive throughs Okay, that's the second part of this research. The third part is the designs and construction details of rotating doors with a swing door on the side. Okay, with a swing door on the sides. So those are the three overviewing components in your research. Then they go further on to detail the following notes. The research must be relevant and should therefore be in the form of graphic material, example pictures and illustrations. We do not want you again here to write a lot or just dump some uh, searches that you've done um, related to the research. We want pictures and illustrations showing what can the eventual designs look like. Then you have to have evidence of at least five different examples of each research topic. Okay, five different examples. That must be included. Now, of course, here they ask for three examples of Dutch cable roofs, three of covered driveway. So it's not five in this instance, okay? But five in general of your floor plan layouts, your small conference centers, your rotating doors, etc. Then the research material must be aesthetically presented. So very well presented and may not exceed four A4 or two A3 pages per topic. So my guide here is at least it's going to be one A3 page per topic, but cannot be more than two pages per topic. There must be clear evidence that this research has been used in your design solution. So people, you can't show us research and then in the end that research isn't shown, you know, in other parts of your actual working drawings, your floor plans, etc. You have to use this research in your eventual designs. And please include a list of all bibliography. And we're not at the end of your pet, directly after the research. So make sure that if you download an image from the internet, you clearly give a clear biography, bibliography that gives us the link to that image. So you'll have to label your images um, and refer to them in the bibliography. Okay, let's look at these goes side and side with your checklist so if i look at my checklist here these are the specific requirements that you're going to get marks for first of all that research the first one will be number 2.1 and it will be the design and floor plan layouts of a small conference center then 2.2 will be your three dutch cable roof designs and your three covered drive through designs each one will be one mark to get to a total of two 2.3 will be the design and the construction detail of rotating doors with side swing doors. And remember here, the design part is the visual part, how it looks, but the construction detail is really the actual making of this door. How does it, how is it constructed? So there's two different kind of pictures that they're looking for. I'll show you um, examples in a moment. In clear evidence that this research was used in the design solutions. And so that we're going to page through and see it. Oh, this picture, something about this picture was incorporated in the eventual design and your list of bibliography. If you're able to do all of that, you're going to get two, 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 and that's going to be 10 out of 10. This, of course, goes along with your actual pace setter where you have to do your research. 
and it's going to be at least one AT page per topic, can be two, not more than two, and according to this pace center, it should be done by the 10th of March, so please rush to get this done as soon as possible. Okay, let's look at some examples here. Now, that is how it can be laid out on a A3 page. I'll zoom out for you a bit. Okay, there we can see. Uh, now, these are the layouts of a media center, of course. You're going to have to do at least five layouts, designs and layouts of a conference center. So, similar floor plans, all right, detailing. You can see it overwhelmingly, it's pictures. Some 3D, some more floor plan like, some just pictures of those centers. And yours is going to be specific to a conference center. Again, please make sure you put a nice title on there, 2.1, give a title to that. And I encourage my learners to do a border. Every page at least needs to have a full name, page number, and the date of completion. Okay, there's another one, nice viewing. That's where they did their roof layouts. And yours again will have to be three gable roofs, Dutch gable roofs. And you're also going to have the uh, covered uh, drop-off area. So, But you see, uh, pictures are important. The one thing that I would add is the actual numbering of these pictures. So giving each picture an actual number so that it links with your bibliography. Here's one more example of um, designs or research. Again, make sure yours have got actual description or a label to it that links to your bibliography. Okay, that's an overview of the research. I'm confident that you'll do a great job with your own research. Make sure you keep to the checklist and the pad document. Thank you for watching. Over to you. Now it's your turn.